14 of my 2022 Christmas Village food tutorial series. After my personal defeat in part 13, I had to refocus to forget everything, at least for some time. And by pure chance, three days ago, I had the first uh, training meeting of the new season of my uh, sport theater team yes i also do theater sport theater and someone someone may think differently but sport theater is real theater and those three hours on stage really helped me i came home and uh, uh, focus on designing some new stuff I will need for completing I don't know when this project and now I'm ready I, I hope I will be ready to go ahead with my mysterious building and everything I can add to this project in the half day I have until posting my new video Okay, um, now it is time to talk about the building, the mysterious building, once again. The glue now is perfectly dry. Uh, when I filmed part 13, the PVC was still white around the borders. Now it is completely dry. It still has this shiny effect, but only if you watch it up from the inside like this, but if you watch it, through the window, you will you will not get it, and uh, almost practically at 90 degrees the walls. But then I could I can also bend a little bit, so I will adjust that lately. It is time to talk about the front here level, second level, front side. It is divided in three: left, right, and central. Left and right will have the same exact design shape with some uh, windows like the, those ones, the um, meshes free uh, windows there and the, the central part will be different um, for the first time I will need to work on not just one layer but multiple layers of uh, styrofoam until now everything is done using one single layer of styrofoam. This is just three mils, um, but cut it in one piece. For here, left, right, and central. Here I will need three layers. Here three layers, and here four layers. Let me explain. I cut uh, already cut left and side and central, as I told you. But if I use only the one layer here, getting the like that, it will not be enough because in order to cover some more space, because the walls are aligned with the counts, I will need to add one more layer of styrofoam like. that in order to make the columns disappear okay and another layer on top of it like that because i need it okay like that so this is nine mils standard pure okay this is 76 0 0.76, so uh, 7 mils and 6, 8 mils, and this is only 3.6 mils, millimeters, okay? I will need to glue 
like that. And then do the openings or do the openings and then glue everything together. Okay. Uh, doing the openings with this slope here once everything is glued I don't think it's the ideal process so maybe I will get everything uh, every window done and then proceed with the gluing of the three components together so uh, I will use my back front one front two I will get my little ruler metallic ruler and then start in measuring and then cutting everything <coughs> Good, we have the shape here and those would be superposed like that. Okay, so now it is time to cut the openings. Okay, now the front central part, now the main front, this will be the eighth of the front here, I will need to place it like that. I will certainly need to refile everything, but this will be the eight. Okay. Of the central part. So this hole here. With openings and everything else. So the main door. And uh, here we go with the shape of the front central side, but we almost knew the design is done because those one I did them during the last part. Okay, looks like that. I went a little more narrower this time as I don't want to use the molding powder to fill everything so I try to go a little more short on that one okay I will file uh, the holes later um, no let's go directly with the filing here same of you I think it's time for me to let you know Yeah. 
Here, going into the balcony, prolongation that goes into the balcony, then here I will have some little holes, but let's wait for this to dry before applying uh, some black here and then some windows to here, okay? Now, this only needed to dry and this has already dried yes yes i will do the meshes here better um, sorry glue PVC glue oops brush in the water now um, 
I will do the inside with some black and then something else and then the windows there okay and then the PET for the windows Good, and this is done too. So the windows there, black, little, almost a dry brush here, and the windows are reflecting the light, as you can see. They are reflecting even here the light. So this will be placed like that. Okay, so a little more like that. Then I will have the walls here for the balcony, okay, like that. Now I will wait some more minutes to get everything dry before assembling the three, the three parts of the face, okay. And let's talk about what I left here. Here you have torches, more torches, inside you have seen that I have more torches and even here I have more torches okay but in the front there you may think oh he forgot to have space or the torches here no I wanted something bigger because this is the main entrance something powerful okay and uh, I didn't know where to go like in part of your team. I haven't planned that, but now I have planned it and I did it. So, what I did, I did a couple of this and that, a couple two of them. What are those? Those are braziers, okay? Big braziers, big powerful braziers with a hole in the middle there because I will need it to get the flickering LED inside and those will be placed here, okay? Now, not uh, against the wall but they will be placed there and this is printed with some transparent PETG okay because this will be on top of here and this will be the flame okay hope you can see uh, the um, the Brazilian is not in as that some cone uh, work it like the walls were some um, stones, everything in stone, and then a square extruded there long with some small uh, square protruding from the four corners there, having th those angles here, and then some little arc inside because I, I don't. Um, I will never stop doing arches in my building. Then some horizontal lines to simulate that those are uh, stone bricks. And this is the design I've developed while I was blue, while I was done in the last, uh, during the last week for the braziers, okay? Uh, they are not identical, yes, they are identical because printed from the same, but the, mm, the four uh, sides are not identical, they have differences of uh, stone, okay, they are 
I don't know if I can show you more closely, maybe like that, okay. They are, they have four different sides, okay. So, I don't know the result of this little flame here. This also is a little flame, is irregular form, okay. It's, it has an irregular form as a flame will be. Uh, transparent, yes, but I hope, as I did the same for the um, Mary Shelley features, the Frankenstein feature, with the same PETG, transparent PETG, so I hope this will diffuse the light that will go inside. Obviously, I will use simply the flickering LED inside uh, without the need of uh, having the blue the hot glue on top of them because then I will have the flame here. Those will be grey, grey from the outside, I will paint them later as everything needs to be painted. Let me assemble those little things with the flickering LED. As we hide inside self appointed star I think uh, it diffused enough the light, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So, first one is working. And the second one too, guys. and it diffuses the light. Good. So, those two here are done. I will place them, I don't know when. I 
we place them there. Okay, one and two. They are tall enough to also get some light inside the windows. Okay, inside the windows. But here, maybe not completely against the wall, but in the middle here, at one centimeter, one centimeter and a half from the uh, wall, from the black wall there. And they will bring a light to the main entrance. And those are very, very big for the scale. I, I mean, for the scale. Uh, I painted uh, some gray inside because otherwise, once everything is glued, like it's the case now, I won't be able to paint inside, but I will paint outside. Um, two different colors. I think I will go with some. Uh, Grey for the wall, for the stones brick, and then some bronze for the um, for the braziers. Only the border, and then some uh, some laterals, uh, some um, brackets I have here. And this is done also. So let's add them there. I will need to check the walls here. Good. And also good. I will do something more in here. Okay, I put once again my little compass here because I don't like it like that. Mm, I should have thought about it before gluing everything together, but maybe I can do it anyway. And I will draw a couple of art. Oops. In there. To glue this together, okay. I will need also some pins. Let's do it.
back door. Tuxedo black, El Camino, 1969. Well, he said, give me some more love, give me some love. Good. Now before adding the roof, I will need to work inside and on the back here. Then I will add roof and this will be done. Last thing that will be, uh, I will do is joining the columns here to the balcony because I will need to paint everything here and then also some bricks on the front some bricks here okay and everything else but the bricks it's not that difficult it's just a matter of time always time here the uh, pavement is too thin so it tends to arc I will need to fix this with some glue and some pins and then add it like that so inside I will need some hard work on the back that will have another part with some columns a stair and an inside balcony okay but I need to wait for the this to dry and I will need to cut everything so for now I think I will uh, see you for something else okay walls all around the layout all around the village uh, I will certainly not had uh, styrofoam, little styrofoam bricks all over the layout. <laughs> I don't have 10 uh, months to work on and so I needed something different. Yes, those bricks are good for um, buildings, some small buildings and features, but not for the background walls. Um, I could use my rock paper, yes, but rock paper is good for uh, outside the main layout, outside the city, outside the village, where I don't have man-made uh, walls. And so during the past two seasons I used this wall here, that is completely great, it's a real wall, it, uh, it's an Italian medieval wall, from central Italy, okay, and this is a real wall, an existing real uh, wall, and it's something I have on my database of uh, walls and stones and pavements and bricks and etc. collected during the years. But this is a real Italian wall, and this is seamless. Seamless means that if I want to place another wall, another piece, just uh, it is the opposite side, so this way, one beside the other, I don't have any problems. I can use this like this, and from the distance the stones will be one beside the other, okay? This was good, maybe too way too dark, and I used it during the last two seasons. Uh, but uh, it lacks some thin, it lacks some green here and there, so that's the reason why I then added some more uh, moss all along the walls in the post processing. I just finished doing a, a remodeling of my walls. This season, my walls, my background walls, will go this way. No, they go this way, guys. So, this is also a real existing wall. And if you 
you can see I superposed two images you can see that this is repeated here but I will only use 12 centimeters because my walls are 12 centimeters tall so you don't get heat and this can be used in conjunction with this one because I have continuity like that okay and you don't get the impression that the walls the wall is different the pattern is this long okay so every 29 centimeters you will have repeating pieces look here and here I hope you can see it yes the um, the pattern will be reproduced every 29 centimeters so with all the buildings in front of it you won't be able to see the difference but this is also between fall and winter with uh, some uh, grass here that is some brown and some green so it's not pure um, Christmas time not pure December time at least in northern hemisphere as I always tell because Australia for example you don't get difference you, you, you get another another kind, kind of climate the opposite of northern hemisphere but this is for European and northern hemisphere uh, a good compromise between fall and winter and it is more um, it is less dark as you can see uh, so it will give light to the, it will bring more light to the background and it is almost uh, uh, regular so as this one was so dark gray dark gray not very clear and dark not very different in color this is good for background walls so let me cut some of them and then I will start doing the level zero, the first level with this. So I always need to cut what the part that is and print by my printer. So this is not printable. This is some four millimeters that are not printable. Okay, and then just verify where is the top and where is the not the top so this is the 12 centimeters i will need to add are from this side here 12 centimeters here and 12 centimeters there This will be my wall for 2022 project. I hope to have cut 12 and 12. Yes. And also yes. Okay. And this, I will not throw it away because it will be useful for some, some um, little uh, walls, little surfaces that are uh, too tall to be covered by these long pieces there.
love should be easy. Why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved. But love ain't easy. You taught me that. I let you in, now you are out, now you are out. I don't understand why you hurt me. I don't understand why you want to let me down. Can't understand. Was it all worth it? You play me good just for not seem too much right now but I think the shadows here can give me up C I R C U S okay this is what I did in the last day during the last day after after everything uh, um, gone wrong in part 13 so uh, what is uh, Circus without a big sign post, a gigantic sign post uh, that can be seen from miles and miles away, from kilometers and kilometers away, nothing. So I modeled something very huge, not this one, but you will understand in some seconds. I modeled something very huge, very strange, very steampunk because I need this for two reasons, for a signpost and also to add to the circus what I always told you I will be doing, uh, the most dangerous thing I've ever done, really dangerous guys, but if you know how to manage it, it won't be dangerous. So, signpost, okay, I could have simply choose a steampunk font, there are many, many online font, and use the 3D software to print the text then to get everything done like that. But no, I wanted something different. Please take a look closely to the letters here. Let go this way for once, okay? C-I-R-C-U-S, but I made them using some pipes, yes, uh, and joining pipes. I have cap pu caps, I have uh, joining a section here at 45 degrees, uh, this is not, this is 30 degrees, those are at 90 degrees, this is at 45 degrees, okay, and I've thought that this would be a way to uh, have 
uh, signpost more steampunk and everything is done following yes i don't know if there are many rounded or circular uh, tubes uh, pipes like that but let's simulate that this is true and then here also i terminated the r with a 90 degrees section those are um, connection connectors that allow to connect the small pipes to big pipes this is a three eight of an inch to one inch okay oh, to half an inch sorry um, and so on this is something between an s and a five but i wanted something not perfect using what is remaining in some junkyard uh, as some tubes pipes in a junkyard and the u is closed with the um, caps the s2 the c2 but the i and the r are open from one side and the other and this is very huge so i needed to split the model in different parts but this will be obviously i will try to paint i will need to paint everything maybe uh, not completely um a copper for the tube maybe something more different colors for each and single one of the letters i don't know yet but this is what i modeled yesterday then i placed it in printing and maybe you can hear in the background the printer still printing because the uh, remaining three elements for this uh, signpost here gigantic signposts are still to be finished this will also need this big monstrous thing here that is empty inside as a hole in the front reserved to what is still to be printed and we'll have some food there uh, some feet there some stents to put it at a certain age, they are still printing and I can tell you that they, they are some coils, okay? This is a steam pipe between electric and steam between Tesla and Edison. Uh, Tesla, Edison and pipes, sorry guys. Um, this is a box. This will be placed uh, like this okay it will be placed like this i miss the final parts here that are here those are the final parts one from each side let me go this way because the design was too big for the printer And I have to to cut it down, but I have a right and a left like that. That will complete this side. So the front here will be completed like by this, and it will be like that. Uh, something gigantic here in the front with a bolt. Um, in here and then down there the support this will be the entrance gate of the circus not in front of the circus but here you have the circus here you have the uh, three ring circus the um, the dome and this will be placed like that on the side entrance then something more here and here this will be in front of the stairs that will allow people to reach this level the circus level from the first level down there for from um Jules Verne uh, feature from 20,000 leagues under the sea feature 
and will get access here. I don't think I will get uh, everything with lights illuminated here. Maybe some lights, just I don't know yet. But the reason of this box, why this huge gigantic box? And this will be the cap, the top of the box, because I will need to hide what will be inside it. Okay, like that. Like that. Inside here, I will put some strange, dangerous tool, some dangerous electronics, because I want something that I, I know the name, but I will not reveal it because I still need to do the final parts. But I need this box here and the cup here before going ahead with the um, with the assembly with the assembly part. But what will be inside this? So I will need this for test, and then. I will need this also for test. Okay, guys. Uh, don't get frightened by this. This, what is this? This is a stepper up. This will transform low electricity in high electricity, high voltage, low voltage electricity to high voltage electricity. This is 50 kilo volt, this is 5, 50 thousands volts. I marked here Chinese obviously, I marked here the input voltage that we need to work with this little monster here okay and this will be this one or something else because this is very powerful inside here that's the reason why I have this huge box here because I need the space to hide everything and the wires will go will be in contact with the top here because I will need to do something here but this will be inside here maybe it's too powerful I will right now show you what this and this is used in um, in your kitchens, for example, uh, where you have the uh, cooking plates, and this this is I don't want to get. Please be advised, don't be shocked about what you will see. I will bring some 4.5 volts as stated there. So 4.5 volts. Oops. 4.5 volts. Okay. Camera still rolling. Yes, sorry for the wire here. Okay, 4.5 volt and don't be afraid by the noise you will hear. A little noise, but please look, I will show you. Okay, sorry.
Okay, this is okay. Sorry, I also uh, smell some ozone because this is ionizing. High voltage, maybe too powerful, fifty thousand volts. I'm trying to work on something less powerful. Okay, this is maybe exaggerated for what I have in mind with the now it's safe guys uh, with the um, uh, the arc the electric arc here pure white getting from one side to the other this is an ignition tool for your stove for your kitchen for your um, gas kitchen not electric kitchen if you have some cooking plate that is electric or inducted is not this is an ignition tool for your gas kitchen old gas kitchen use it to go this way nowadays <laughs> they, those i use it also in teasers um, not in teasers in um yes in teasers in weapons okay but they are free to uh, to buy okay no worries uh, 50,000 volt maybe too dangerous i bought this already done already made like that maybe it is too powerful i admit it but guys i also have one of 100 thousand volts and <laughs> that is frightening that is frightening the arc is that big and the sound is awful uh, it, you will not understand right now what i will need to do but once it is completed, I assure you that this will be absolutely steampunk. But I also worked on something no, five hours ago, six hours ago. I just finished uh, assembling this little thing here. It is the equivalent of this one, but this is for um, for. Um, teaching purpose, okay, uh, this is for teaching purpose, for explaining in classrooms, in high schools, what is uh, voltage and what is the difference between low voltage and high voltage. Inside here, you have some smaller components that are equivalent to this one. You have here. A diode, a resistor, a transistor, uh, this is not an electronic component but is used to um, cool down the transistor because these get oh, so hot from the voltage and uh, so this is a, a cool down uh, aluminium uh, component then some connecting tools to connect the in and the out here in this case i have the source here that gets in here i have a little switch to get it on and off here i have used some tape to uh, completely uh, isolate it and not having the sparks getting everywhere because this is the purpose of getting sparks and here I have what is called a transformer. It's tr it transforms with some coils, with some copper coils, the low voltage in high voltage. And I will not get more in details with the theory behind it, but this is how I learned um, high and low tension and low electricity, high voltage electricity and low voltage electricity in high school many decades ago, 30, may, no, 40, 40, 35, 40 years ago, but it's still used and so I found it online and bought a couple of them. This is only between 10 and 15,000 volts. So between 10 and 15 kV. This is less shocking. I'm trying to find something between 20 and 30 online because it will be 
the perfect solution between uh, 20 and 30 k, k, k v kilovolts, so 1000 volts. This is less shocking, guys. And this also will be placed like that inside, so I have different measure then I will need some wires, some connecting and a switch because even this one, if I will use this one, will have a switch. Okay, let me check the camera. Okay, so this is more loud because this is completely sealed with some uh, hot glue and then some plastic, so this is less uh, less loud, less noisy. So this one needs just 3 volts. Let me switch back to 3 volts. Okay, and this is a 3 amps, 3 amperes AC adapter. It only needs 1, one and a half amps, amperes. <laughs> Sorry if I'm using so many so many technical terms but it is dangerous in so well if you have a pacemaker please don't do this at home because you risk to be electrocuted and it will not kill you because it's just low amperage but very high volts you get shocked for but you will not die from it it's a little more powerful than getting electrocuted by your uh, home sector uh, electricity. But right now you don't hear any sound because it is switched off. I will switch it on. So you hear a sibling there, yeah? you hear a, a noise there. No sparks at all. I see, I hear everything then. Look at the input there. It's very little. It's purple. Okay, it is purple, very little. The art that is formed here because it's only uh, 10 to 15,000 volts. But this is more useful for what I have in mind, something purple like that. The art, so that's there, okay? I switch it, I will switch it off like that, no more risk. Still, some, I am smelling some ozone because this is used also in ionizing tools, so it, it uh, hits the hair and make the oxygen into ozone, so O2 into O3, <laughs> sorry, my uh, chemistry background is always surfacing. So now, no more arcs, this will be inside here, so that's the reason I had the so, I made the so thick walls here, those are 3 millimeters walls, front and back, these very thick walls, this, uh, with the cap, with the cover there, will be, uh, will be uh, fading down the, the, um, the high frequency uh, sound it makes. It's normal, it's not uh, that it's defectuous or it is broken, but it always do this sound. But 10 to 15, it's a little... Uh, low for me but I will manage to do it and this is not that hot and the sound is made by the transistor and the and the coils and everything else so when it is charged between the two uh, wires there it okay no I don't want to explain the theory once again Okay, but this or this one or maybe a 20 kV will be inside or maybe a 30 kV. If I'm not satisfied with this and I will, I will I, and I 
uh, will not be able to find a 20 or 30 kV somewhere online because those are impossible to find in general store, normal store, normal electronics store, at least here when I leave. So online, if I get a 20 kV or 30 kV, I will use it. It, it will be between this big monster and this one, okay? Uh, why I'm doing this? Because I want a visual effect here, a vertical visual effect behind the circus there, behind the circus uh, letters here, a visual effect here, a vertical visual effect, maybe this tall, maybe this tall, okay? behind it, in the plain middle of it, between the R and the C there. Not, I, I, want, I didn't want it in, um, too close to the letters, no, but in the background something, this is 9, mm, nine centimeters, if I remember correctly, 9 centimeters, no, 5 centimeters, so this is 13.5 by 5 centimeters. So 5 cm behind the letters and between the R and the C will be, I will have a strange, powerful um, visual effect, real visual effect, not computer graphics. <laughs> and don't use this if you have little children at home, uh, children, so little child, children, and if you have a pacemaker, and, but, or cats <laughs> can be electrocuted by this, but people who have cats always don't do very big um, Christmas villages because cats are too curious and will jump it on top of your villages and but this I wanted to introduce you my madness and one of the other reason I'm so behind the schedule is here and the final recap of part 14 of this very short part I work at only half a day sorry guys and this is the result of the first layer of the new background wall guys maybe i can go closer i don't think it is a bad contrast between the gray of the stairs there and the gray of the wall uh, maybe i can show you what would have been with last year wall like that it's somehow lighter, this new wall, and I think I will go for this season. Anyway, I've started to glue it, so I will go. I will need to uh, cut the very top of it, but uh, first I need to wait for the glue to dry, otherwise I will uh, scratch all the paper. And by the way, this is... Uh, not a standard paper, as always this is 200 grams per square meter paper, otherwise this all work, this all job of moving uh, of, um, towards the right, towards the left, of sliding the paper with the glue already applied to it, would have uh, destroyed entirely some standard uh, paper. Uh, you have seen me using it as uh, uh, gluing support there in order not to uh, stain too much the cutting cutting um, mat there, but this will be too too um, um, thin to support such a, a full amount of glue. And then this also in the background of the new feature there, of the feature, good contrast. It's always best to have almost a monotone, monochromatic background wall 
not with red bricks and yellow bricks and white bricks together. Otherwise, it will be too contrast and too difficult to see what is really important, what is in front of the wall. So the background wall need to be there, but also need to be the most anonymous possible. Okay, this will be somehow also another important thing. It's important to measure everything if you can and get the corners like I did. So the, f the previous uh, sheet of paper ended here, then I went with the corner there and also here. It's not um, good to have the paper exactly ending where you have the corners, otherwise the white will be visible. And this way you don't have the impression that this is a fake wall, even if it is a fake wall. And also not having too many shadows on that wall. The picture was taken almost at noon with perfectly vertical uh, shadows, help it get a good contrast, otherwise it will not be this good to have a, um, pure stone wall background like that. Maybe I will show you next time what I meant by that. I also have some backgrounds uh, with pictures taken uh, at um, do down, dawn or at the sunset and it's not the same thing. With backgrounds the pictures must be taken at noon or when the sun is completely vertical to the wall. And from the front side here, okay. Then, then the only thing I worked on, apart from the wall, once again, sorry guys, is the big mysterious building there, okay. And with the front in place, it's like that. Uh, last thing I will be do is prepare the background. So glue and pre-cut everything. The balcony, the inside balcony, the stairs. I will need an inside balcony here, this level here. Then a stairs getting up to the balcony. Then the back here with some uh, opening towards another little balcony in the back with some columns in it. Uh, useless for this building because it will not be seen 360 degrees around but my initial project was that so I will continue with my initial project then I will end by adding the little walls here for the balcony then some little details and uh, mm, and every and single one of the bricks I will be adding it's just a long tedious process, but not difficult. It will be done in at least four hours. This will be completely covered by uh, bricks. And then, and then it will be the end of this mysterious building. No, the roof. I will show you a new technique also for the roof. Um, yes, I will show you a new technique for the roof. It will be uh, a T shaped roof like that so a big long roof covering the main side and then a little piece going up towards the balcony so a little t-shaped roof i was wondering if it's not the case to have the building not uh, uh, parallel to the walls but in somehow like that if i find a place to it to get it so in order to get you see even the back and the inside maybe like that i don't know maybe like that okay so you will be able to see through even from the side i don't know mm, it can be a solution to not uh, get everything secluded in the back here and getting some point of view even from the side i don't know uh, placing it parallel to the walls is taking less space 
if I need to get something like that, I will not have space for the roads or for the people to get around it. So maybe just a little. No, I don't know, guys. Uh, maybe your comments will be helpful. Okay, guys. Uh, okay. Just the half a day of work for this part 14, but I really had to reset everything and restart from scratch. And maybe a little too poor work for this entire part, just working on the, um, on the building there and the walls. Yes, or so on this, I will show you what are my intention to complete the uh, circus there. Uh, but guys, by pure chances, just five minutes ago, the printer ended printing what is still missing there. The two giant coils, this is a giant coil, this is his twin, and a giant gear, cog here. And this will be the pillars of the box here that will sustain the circus signpost. It will be like that. They are giant because they will need to support some heavy duty there. No, this is the front. And then the giant gear cog here in plain middle there as a symbol of steampunk with the cog and the pipes on the post there. That's my restarting point for this 2022 series after my debacle debacle sorry uh, of part that I had in part during part 13. Um, plenty of things still to be printed I will have a pause now and I will complete surely I will, this time it's sure I will double my efforts uh, I know it's I've already said that plenty of time, but guys, okay, uh, I will complete next time the giant mysterious uh, building, then proceed with something else, continue this work on this crazy thing here, and uh, so many prints to still to do to get it done, but I can't have uh, uh, them um, built by and or found on the market because steampunk is not suited for these kind of villages. Not it's not suited. You you can't find it then anywhere. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and. See you next time.